Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another meal prep video. I needed something quick and easy this week. I've been sick for the last week and also it's just way too hot to be sitting here slaving over a stove. So I'll share with you my quick and easy meal prep this week. Most times the recipes are shared down in the description box below, although days like today where I'm just kind of throwing together some salads, there may not be recipes. And also any of the items I use, like my milk prep containers, things like that, I try to link those down below as well. If you're new to my channel, I share the Weight Watcher points and also calories. As always, I appreciate the thumbs up on my videos. And if you're new, I would love for you to be part of the family. So now let's jump right into this week's milk prep. All right, so I'm starting my breakfast this week and I'm just cracking 12 eggs into a bowl. I'm gonna do these in the oven just because they're quicker, but if you prefer to do them on the stove, you can. So it's actually the 4th of July today as I'm filming this. It's Tuesday and my husband and I have had five days off now and I am sick. I have been sick the whole entire time. Today's probably the first day that I really started feeling a little bit better. So honestly, because things have been so busy at work lately and I've really been only committing to one video a week, my intentions were that when I was off the five days, I would get a bunch of filming done so I could kind of have some in my film library. That didn't happen. But I do want to get a meal prep put together for the last three days. We're going back to work tomorrow. So for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I want to throw, to throw a meal prep together. So like I said, I'm making some eggs. I've got my oven preheated to 325 degrees. I've got 12 eggs and I just mix my eggs with water. If you want to mix them with milk, you can. And then I just put in some spices. I'll usually do like some garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then I have a 13 by nine inch baking pan that I've sprayed with some cooking spray. And I'm just gonna pour the egg mixture into that. And then this is going in a 325 degree oven for 18 to 22 minutes. So for my husband, I'm doing muffins. These are the Aldi muffins. They're four points, 140 calories. So if you're using those, for me, I think I'm gonna just do these protein wraps. Um, these are 120 calories and I believe these are one point. They might be two, I'll pop it up on the screen. Actually, hang on, my phone's right here. Let me see what they are. Two points. So they are two points for a wrap. And I thought about, I was gonna kind of do, you know the little TikTok recipe thing that they do with a whole bunch of things where you cut here and then you put stuff here, here, and here, and you fold it this way and then fold it this way and then fold it this way. I thought of doing that, but then I decided, I think I'm just gonna treat this like kind of like the muffins and I'm just gonna do half of a protein wrap for each one so that'll just be one point and 60 calories for that now normally what I do is put some parchment paper down and I usually wrap them in parchment paper first and then in aluminum foil but I'm all on a parchment paper so for today I'm just using the aluminum foil next I'm gonna put some mustard so my husband and I a lot of you know we love mustard on our eggs next I'm gonna be putting some Canadian bacon so for this Canadian bacon, if you just use one slice, then it's zero points, and then it's one point for four slices. So however many you use, if you use two, then it'll still be one point, and it is 20 calories for each slice. So for my husband's, I'm gonna put one slice on each one, and I'm just gonna put one slice on mine. And then for my husband's, I'm gonna use this provolone cheese. I wanna say this cheese, oh, actually there's only two slices. I wanna say this cheese is like three points per slice. So, he's gonna also have one. These are deluxe slices from Great Value. And these ones are three points per slice. All right, so that's my husband's. And for mine, I'm gonna use this feta cheese. You can have half an ounce for one point which I know I won't even put it, be putting that much on there. This is an eight ounce block. So what I usually do, which I didn't this time, but what I usually do when I get these is I cut it into 16. And then I know each little piece that I pull out is a half an ounce. But I forgot, I didn't do it this time, but I know I'm not even gonna be using a half an ounce. So a half an ounce of this is, like I said, 1.30 calories. And then I'm gonna be putting the equivalent of two eggs on the top of there. So for mine, it's gonna be, one point for the feta, zero for the ham, one point for the protein wrap, and then zero for the eggs. So for mine, it's only gonna end up being two points, 
and for calories that's going to be 250 calories. I have 140 calories for the two eggs. I have 60 calories for the half protein wrap so that's 200 and then 30 for the feta and 20 for the bacon and then what five calories or something for the mustard. So now I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to wait for the eggs to get done and I'm going to let them cool first before I cut them up. Okay, eggs are done. I had them in for about 20 minutes. So now I'm just going to evenly cut them and that is what they look like. That's going to be quite a lot. So I cut mine in half. I think I'm just going to lay the egg down in the bottom. Try not to lose my feta. I'm going to just turn my egg and that is mine. Not the prettiest thing. And even the muffin ones are big. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in, do the same thing. This is gonna be a huge sandwich for him. Okay, so that is how big the sandwich is. So you definitely could just use one piece of egg if you wanted to. So I'm thinking when I've made these before, I've only used one egg on each one because I do not ever remember them being this big. So now just wrap each of them up in the aluminum foil. Like I said, if I had parchment paper, then I would put them in parchment paper first and then in the aluminum foil. But for today, it's just going to be the foil. So now what I'll do is take these out of the foil to heat them in the microwave. That's why usually I have parchment paper on there because that way I just take them out of the foil and put the parchment paper right in the microwave. But I could just use a paper towel. So I don't, as you saw, I don't toast the muffin. You can totally toast that if you want to. And like I said, you could just use one piece of the egg, maybe make 12 of these instead of just six. You can make 12, use uh, just half of the amount of egg that I use, and then you could pop the rest in your freezer and you have them for another week. So that's our breakfast sandwiches, and I'll probably have a little bit of fruit with them as well. So now I'm just throwing together some chicken salad, and then I'm just going to do a tuna salad for my husband. So for my husband's, I just use canned tuna and mayonnaise, so I won't be showing how to make his because... I don't measure anything out on his. So I'm gonna be doing mine though. I'm just using this canned chicken. If you prefer regular chicken breast, you sure can use that. And I like to get a fork and just kind of break it up a little bit. Okay, I'm using this Hellman's light mayonnaise for this. It's one point for one tablespoon and three points for two tablespoons. So one tablespoon is 15 grams. So I'm going to see what it looks like for two. And this is going to actually make enough for three servings for me. So I'm really not too worried about getting too much mayonnaise because the chicken is zero anyway. So the only thing I'm going to be counting is the mayonnaise and whatever bread I decide to use. And actually, let me just check. I'm sure for the three points, you can probably have more than that. So let me just double check that. You can actually have 36 grams for three points. So we can throw a little bit more in there. All right, good enough. So I've got 36 grams of, actually 35 grams of the mayonnaise in there. So that is going to be three points. So it'll be one point for each serving. And then the other thing I like to add is mustard. So as you can tell, I like my mustard on quite a bit of things. So if you prefer though, I have seen some people make this with um, yogurt, adding some Greek yogurt. I just don't really care for the flavor of that. So I just use mayonnaise and mustard. Then I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt since there's quite a bit of sodium anyway. One thing I like to add to my chicken salad is some sliced up grapes. I like red onion in it. I like grapes in it. I like celery in it. I don't have any celery. Uh, I've put in green olives before. So, so many ways that you can make this. But for this week, that's all I'm going to be adding to it. So the way that it is right now, it is one point for each serving and about 120 calories. I'm also going to add in one of these smart pockets. These are 100 calories and one point. So on Weight Watchers, this is only going to be two points. So you definitely have room for more. If you're counting calories, it's going to be 240 calories. So like I said, definitely on the low side, definitely room to add different things, bulk it up if you want. You could even double the amount, double the portions that you're having, just make it your own. So I'm just going to take one of these. These were actually in my freezer, so I don't want to push them down too far. 
So I'm just gonna take one of those, pop those in there. So that's gonna be just my little light lunch for this week. All right, so look what I ended up doing. I ended up making another can. So I'm gonna add another one point to each one and 120 calories. So I just, I got looking at the amount in there and I thought once I put that into this, it's not really gonna fill it. It's gonna be more bread than anything. And I figured this way, I don't have to eat it all, however much I want, then that's how much I can eat. But at least this way, it's a little bit more bulked up. I just felt like it wasn't quite enough. So this way, like I said, it's gonna add another one point. So this is gonna end up being three points, and then it's gonna end up being 380 calories for the entire, if you eat the entire thing. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to. I think this is actually putting quite a bit in there, but I didn't wanna only make a half a can. So I could make this for another day too. And my husband may end up having some. But this way, I'm just gonna load it up there and then I'll just eat however much I want of it. Okay, that way looks much better. I, it just felt to me when looking at it before, it felt like I was restricting myself. So I definitely, that looks much better. Looks like I'm getting more nutrition that way. All right, for my husband's, I just have three cans of tuna in here and I'm just adding some regular hummus. And that's it for his. I just add some pepper and that's all he has. So what I'll do is just leave this in the fridge like this and then he'll make his sandwich fresh each, each morning before he goes to work because he'll just be using regular bread and I find that sometimes when you pre-make tuna sandwiches on regular bread the bread can get soggy. Now for me when I make tuna I like to have green olives in there but he just likes his just plain with mayonnaise. So that's ready to go each morning he can just plop some on some bread and make his sandwich. So usually tuna is something that we usually have on weeks that I don't meal prep. If I don't meal prep, this is typically what he makes himself. So he usually will make himself a tuna sandwich every morning and then he always has cottage cheese when he brings tuna. So I figure I'll go ahead and just portion out his cottage cheese for him now and that'll be one last thing that he'll have to do in the morning. So that is what my husband will be having this week. And then, like I said, he'll also have some bread on it as well. And sometimes he'll add a little bit, like he might grab a handful of grapes or something with it. He typically eats an apple every day, so he'll usually just take an apple with him as well. Now, let me share with you, sometimes I will have some chicken noodle soup, especially on days that I'm sick. So there may be days where I don't have the chicken salad. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Or maybe I'll just eat half of it, and then I'll also have some soup as well. So for this Progresso Light Chicken Noodle Soup, it's only 130. 30 calories for the entire can and only three points on Weight Watchers. So that is my quick and easy meal prep this week. Like I said, way too hot to be slaving over a stove all day. So these will actually be really nice throughout the week on those hot days. So the chicken salad, my husband's tuna, his cottage cheese, our breakfast sandwiches. I have some Cosmic Crisp apples. These are the most amazing apples that I get from Aldi. So we'll be having those throughout the week as well. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.